Okay, everybody, here's another little rack for work using with organs. In this case, with an 88 key keyboard. Let me add the main keyboard and send it to this uh, rechannelizing, organ rechannelizing. Here we go, organ. 88 key rechannelizing rack. And that's this one. So, right now, I have left hand and bass pedals, and I have two other choices that you can pick. So uh, left is the bass pedals and the right hand is the lower register. So I've got the pedals going uh, pretty much lower area and the entire range of the rest of the 88 keys doing the lower manual. Okay, so I want to do this same thing with the upper manual. Um, or I can have it be the upper and lower manual with left and right hand. I got the full range of the upper manual and up to here, all the way down. Now you can split this in different ways. Now you could use this along with the rechannelizing rack in various ways. You could, if you're sending to it also, which I am already, as you can see. Then you could uh, go ahead and add some duplications here, add your pedals. Let's see, oh, I gotta add it and send it to the B3. Here we go. Okay, so you get the idea. Probably should tra make a transposed version of this so that I have more. Right now I have the low pedals going with my left hand uh, below the marker and then the upper register, upper pedals, uh, the upper manual going to the upper set of bass keys, lower manual going with the lower set of bass keys. <laughs> you might not like that split, so you could always change it. Now the way you adjust these things is you right click, you go to rack MIDI ports and you see these various items and just double click them and you can change the MIDI filters like here's where you can change the split okay so it should be pretty easy to use uh, you can combine them uh, believe it or not you can combine these things and really get some pretty crazy results <laughs> so now I've got the bass pedals mirroring a lower manual and the upper <laughs> panel. Of course I'm sending double so I really don't recommend doing it this way but what the heck you can. <laughs> That's the point. Sending double MIDI notes though. Okay so uh Hopefully that's going to be interesting for everybody to fool around with. The nice thing about it is that you simply send it your keyboard controller and then you select the treatment as you would like to have. If you've got any other ideas of how I could improve on this, of course, let me know. I'll add those ideas and re-upload the rack. Okay, take care.